Hi, I'm Bob Misano with Siemens Industry. Okay, we're getting ready to install these precision mounts and we've gone through and programmed the meter and have determined what the correct spacing. The meter uses the pipe geometry and the speed of sound of the gas, in this case, uh, to determine the correct spacing. If you look on here, one pin has been located on reference. The other pin has been referenced to 20. These are D size sensors. So we have to find the screw holes that are for D size. By the way, this also comes with a manual, which is placed inside the precision mounts. And because this is a gas application, we're going to be using these sheets of dampening material in conjunction with the precision mounts. In preparation, what I like to do first is to get these keepers off the ends of the precision mounts. And it helps if you have a 7 16 inch uh, ratchet, it will go a lot quicker, especially when you're putting them back on. It's best to take the washer, the hold down nut, and the lock down nut back on so you don't lose them and place them to the side. And then we'll do the same thing for this one. Okay, we've picked out our location for our stainless mounts, which are 20 diameters downstream from the nearest obstruction and 10 diameters upstream from the downstream obstruction. Just make sure that you take an accurate dimension of the circumference of the pipe and do a wall thickness average in the area of the pipe where you're going to be mounting your sensors. In an earlier step, we had spaced out the sensors appropriately. Uh, now what we're gonna do is locate the 10 o'clock position where we're gonna be mounting our sound dampening material. Okay, here's the dampening material. This is gonna go down in layers and you're gonna put the number of layers that you've calculated using the FS200 tool. So now there's backing which needs to be removed from these layers and you're going to put them just below the, just above and below where the sensors are going to be mounted at the 10 and 2 o'clock position. Okay, I've begun to peel the backing off of this. And I want to line this up. like this, and then just slowly bring it down.
to cover the pipe. After each layer, you're going to want to use the roller to make sure that there are no bubbles. So now that each of the layers are on good and the bubbles have been removed, you can put on the subsequent layers that are required as called out by the FS200 tool. So now here's the banding material that comes with the precision mounts. And what I'm gonna do is take these tie wraps off. Okay, I'm going to wrap the banding material around two times and leave about six inches on each end. Each set of stainless precision mounts come with these keepers, which are used to fasten down the ends. And it's these four brackets and these four hex head screws. So to start out with, you want to find the threaded end of the keeper and put it towards the outside of the radius. Then you want to fold the strap back by an inch or two. And give it a crimp like this. Now we're going to take the end pieces that were removed earlier from the precision mounts and thread them through the strap. And it's going to be the end of the strap that doesn't have the bend in it. If it's a single path, it gets one. If it's a dual path, it will get two, uh, all the way up to four paths. Now, with the end lockdown pieces threaded once, I'm going to slip the unbent end of the strap into the keeper. Now that I have it threaded around twice, I'm going to come into the end keeper for a final time and give it a bend back out of the way. Okay, I put the precision mounts back on the top of the pipe just to approximate the location of these straps now that they've been completed. Earlier we put aside four of these Allen set screws and now we're going to put them in the keeper and tighten it down. Now, depending on how much extra strap you left, there's going to be some left over that you're going to want to cut. So you want to cut it like this, bend this safely out of the way, and fold it down. So now that all four straps are in place, tightened down and cut, I need to remove the nuts and the washers to accommodate the stainless mounts which will go on top of these keepers. Now that I have the precision mounts on the straps and in plane with the pipe, I can go ahead and tighten it down. So now that each of the four nuts are tightened down on top of the washers, 
I still have four lockdown nuts and I'm going to put those on now. Okay, next the covers need to come off, so I've loosened all four of these screws. And I will have to remove these two tie wraps. Next, the lockdown has to be loosened. And removed. And it just swivels in place like this. And you can even take it out first and then loosen it either way. Next, you're going to want to thread in your cables. This is the downstream side, so make sure this says down. This is the upstream side, so make sure this says up. Again, you want to make sure that these are matched pairs. Make sure your F connectors are nice and snug. Make sure your glands are tight. A bead of grease. all the way in and up against the stop. All the way in and against the stop. Now we could put the hole downs. And you want to find the notch at the very top of the sensor and tighten it down. Now that this is all installed, all that's left is the covers.
And that's it, your install is complete. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate and contact technical support.